Greenwood Stock Trading wants to show you how to make money in the stock market. Be a successful investor and make money from anywhere in the world you choose to be. Travel more. Spend more time with friends and family. Or simply, just enjoy the freedom to have fun. What are you waiting on? Join us today on your successful options trading journey. All right, let's listen to Jesse Smollett, um, who was convicted of a of a hate crime. So he convicted five months and um, Well, the jury found you guilty, and I've sentenced you as I have. You have the right to appeal the findings and rulings to the court, or ask your sentence to be modified. To do those things, you need to follow a notice of appeal in writing within 30 days. You may also follow a motion to modify your sentence, which would have to be filed in writing within 30 days. Anything not stated in those filings are waived for purposes of appeal. You cannot afford lawyers or transcripts. They would be provided free of charge. Do you have any questions? No, I would just like to say to your honor that I am I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. Okay. I am not suicidal. I am innocent, and I am not suicidal. If I did this, then it means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years, and the fears of the LGBT community. Your Honor, I respect you, and I respect the jury, but I did not do this, and I am not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it to myself. And you must all know that. I respect you, Your Honor. I respect your decision. Jail time. I am not suicidal. Okay. Mr. Uche, let me inquire. Are there. All right. So you heard Jesse Millette saying not suicidal. Um, his team is saying that. Uh, they saying that. Uh, he said that for a reason, and they comparing it to, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein. They they comparing that to that, saying that you know that's the reason a lot of people in past in police custody suggested that I got jail time because I'm black. So he's saying that. He said, "Believe there is one." Overarching reason he was sent to jail is not because of the host, it's because he's black. Sources with direct knowledge and his constant touch with the Empire Act to tell CMZ Jesse fully expect to get jail time. He told the defense team before since he felt they would be treated more harshly than other defendants convicted of nonviolent crimes, all because his color of skin. He thinks it's more evidence of systematic racism. Like, bruh, like, you know, uh, Jesse told his team, you know, sentencing was he was dead on with predict. Predicting the outcome, he said, we reached out to the court for comments. The reps Cook County uh, ch uh, Chief Judge official. Judge can comment on the pending cases and still pending. He will uh, do, uh, he will uh, appeal, apparently. You know, he also said it in the uh, sentence and they will appeal. As reported, Jesse is held in protective custody as requested while serving his time behind bars with security cameras in the officer with the body cam, body worn cam. Monitoring his cell. Our assessor say Jesse uh, spoke out in court and not uh, about not being suicidal because he wanted to make it clear to the public that something happened to him in jail. It was foul play, and our sources referenced that Jeffrey Epstein outcome, and that was uh, what was on Jesse's mind when he made the comment. He said Jesse was taken away in custody following Thursday sentencing. We're told he spoke with his defense team Friday and telling them he's okay and filled with hope. So my thing is this, bro. Um, you know, so they, they did protective measures, but, you know, if you, you know, most people, you was convicted of a hoax, you know, you probably do that hoax for what, I don't know, to reboost your career, to get more roles. He was a child actor. I remember seeing him in Mighty Ducks 1. I mean, you know, he's a child actor, so his career wasn't going well. My thing is, well, too, it's been, a, it's a lot of, uh, Ways that you can reboost your career. If this is true that he actually did this, there's a lot of things ways to reboost your career. You know, Jada was crying about Will not getting roles. Will start becoming a social media influencer and Will start making roles. So on January 29th, Millet told police that he was attacked outside 
his apartment building by two men. Ski mask, he reported they talked about him using uh, racial homophobic slurs and said, this is MAG country represent, representing Donald Trump. Make America great. He claimed that they used his hand, used their hands and feet and, te and teeth as a weapon and assault, according to the statement released by Chicago Department. The two suspects poured an unknown liquid on Smollett and put a noose around his neck. Smollett said that he fought the mall. Smollett was treated at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, not serious injuries. He was released in good condition that morning. The police were called at 2.30 a.m. When they arrived around 2.40, Smollett had thin white rope around his neck. Smollett said they attacked him. Had, uh, the attack may have uh, been the motive by criticism of Trump administration, and they believe that the ledger saw a link to a threatening letter that was sent to him earlier that month. February 20th, he was charged by a grand jury with four class felonies for filing a false police report. The next day, Smollett surrendered himself to the Chicago Police Department uh, booking station shortly thereafter to see Cook Police, police Department spokesman Anthony Glamelli uh, stated that Smollett is under, quote, under arrest in, in custody of detective. March 26, 2019, all charges filed against Smollett were dropped with Judge Steve Watkins ordering the public court to file seal. First Assistant State Cur uh, Attorney uh, Joseph Maggots uh, said the official uh, office reached a deal with Smollett defense team in which prosecutors dropped the charges of one month. Smollett performing 16 hours of community service and forfeiting $10 million bond. On April 12, 2019, the city of Chicago filed a lawsuit in Circuit, Cook, Cart County, Circuit Court of Crook County, uh, Cook County against Smollett for cost totaling 130, over $130 million of overtime uh, authorities suspended investigation alleged attack. In November 2019, Sm uh, Smollett filed a counter suit against Chicago alleging he was uh, the victim of a mass public ridicule and harm and arguing that he should not be made to reimburse the city for the cost of investigation. After the charges were dropped, allegations of favoritism and leniency were made against prosecutor Kim Fox. You know, I don't know what Kim Fox looks like. A sister. Um, in 2000, June 2019, Fox asked the state to conduct his independent inquiry by special investigator on February 11, 2020. After further investigation by special prosecutor was complete, Smollett was indicted again by Cook County Grand Jury in six counts of felony disorderly conduct pertaining to making out four false uh, police reports. On June 12, 2020, a judge rejected Smollett claimed that his uh, February charge violated the principle of double jeopardy, which mean, I mean, you know, they can't, they can do it. They Now they can do it again, if, you know. And his trial began um, in November 2021 because you can't charge somebody. You can't reopen the case once it's, it's sealed and it's appealed and all that. And trial began to, uh, November 2021, December 9th. Smollett was found guilty on five or six counts. On March 10, 2020, he was sentenced to serve 150 days in court uh, in county in county jail to begin immediately as well as two and a half years of probation. Smollett was also ordered to make restitution to the city of Chicago and just over $120,000 and $25,000 to fine. At the sentence, Smollett repeatedly said, quote, I'm not suicidal, we then continue. If I did this, then... This means I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years in fears of the LGBTQ community. Your honor, I respect you and I respect the jury. I did not do this and I'm not suicidal. And if anything happens to me when I go in there, I did not do it myself. And you must all know that. His lawyers announced they plan to appeal. So, I mean, so yeah, that was his first movie, Mighty Ducks, man. His first thing was a little piece of heaven, you know. And, uh, you know, look, you know, as far as movie one, he had much going. You know, after Empire did a couple things, but you know, he don't have much. He don't have nothing really going for him, bro. So, I mean, I, I mean, if he, if this, if he did, if he, if this was a hoax, which I'm not saying he did or didn't do it, he was just trying to boost his. Uh, he was just trying to boost his. Uh, I think he was just trying to boost his. Uh, his fame. That's simple as that. I think he was trying to boost it. You know. You know, so I can't say if he did or didn't do it, but I said we see a lot of women that, and they're not high profile. You know, they lie on they lie on dudes like old girl lied on, on uh Chris Brown and he dropped the receipts, right? You know, why she ain't being charged for false, you know, false, you know, making a false police claim. I know it's different, but damn, she she wasted police time too. So they wanted to make an example of him. You know, if anybody thinking about boot trying to reboost their career in their mind. You better not come over here with that bull crap. And sometimes you gotta set. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta drop the hammer. And what they did was they dropped the hammer. <laughs> so I mean, sometimes you gotta drop the hammer, bro. So 
I mean, he pretty much, you know, he pretty much asked for this if he if he did this, man. And, you know, you notice how uh, the prosecutors, you know, showed him some leniency, Kim Fox, and then they turned around and um, and then they went behind her and then they said, oh, he, you know, that wasn't Fry and, you know, police department band together. You don't never see that happen to, to uh, in the other ethnic groups when they throw a bone in court and you see people get a bone thrown in court for a way more serious crime. So I see where you're coming from. You know, I see that, you know. But then again, you you see the difference between you and them other people. You're a star. And anybody think about wasting police and investigating time to reboost their career in their mind, whatever your motive was, you're going to think twice about it. So it is what it is. Let's go to Ryan Coogler. He's the filmmaker that from Oakland that helped uh, – that, that that made Black Panther. Um, he was mistaken for uh, hold on real quick. He was mistaken. He went to the bank. Um, he went to the bank and uh, said Black Panther director Ryan Coogler speaks out after being mistaken, secondly uh suspected of attempted robbery. So. Um, so let's get this out the way. Um, come on. It says that uh, Ryan Cougar was detained by police in January after being mistaken for a bank robber. Black Panther director was in Atlanta attempting to make a withdrawal from, from, from his account in Bank of America. The teller received an alert on his account, according to the police report obtained by CNN, because the amount was more than 10000 The teller... Uh, notified her superior she thought Coogler was trying to rob the bank in 911 call. Coogler had wrote uh, written a note on the back of the withdrawal slip stating that he wanted money to be counted discreetly given the amount, uh, according to the report. When police arrived, two, uh, two of Coogler's colleagues who were re- waiting for him in a parking vehicle, parked vehicle outside the bank, were detained in place in the back of police car. Coogler was placed in handcuffs while police investigated the call. He was released shortly after they verified his identity and the police report states, quote, the situation should have never happened. However, Bank of America worked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction and we have moved on, Cougar said in a statement. CNN reached out to Cougar's representative for comment, quote, we deeply regret that this incident occurred and never should have happened. We apologize to Cougar, Bank of America statement to CNN. Cougar was in Georgia at the time of the incident working on production of Black Panther Wakanda Forever sequel to a 2018 blockbuster the film is set to release in november so i mean shit is what it is you know i don't i never heard nobody write the i guess he was like he wrote a note and you got alerts more than ten thousand. you know that's when you know he reports to the irs and that's usually you could you can pull out nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine, and it won't raise an alert go one thousand one dollar over ten then you got to account for that money but it is what it is. He put his account number on there, raised the red flag, he wrote in the back of the statement. He wanted to be kind of discreetly. It is what it is. You know, he ain't probably from Atlanta. There ain't nothing but superstars working by Atlanta, but you know, he wanted that amount of money. And then, you know, a lot of times you pull out a large amount of money, you gotta notify the bank, you know, before you come because yo, you know, they, they a lot of times they just don't have money on, on file on, on hand. A lot of times your money be tied up in their own investments. That's what they say, credit unions and annuities and cds and ras and all that stuff you invest your money into the stock market more than the bank but i mean yeah it's unfortunate bro um he was in atlanta black city so i mean i don't blame her um you know raised a red flag wrote a note i don't know man um he ain't tripping about it so i ain't gonna trip about it but you know it's unfortunate though but you know we profile and stuff of that nature but you know i don't know and then he had a mask on too though so Everybody wear their mask. You in Atlanta, they don't wear no mask though. So, I don't, so it ain't like he wore a screen mask. But Atlanta, they don't wear no mask. But uh, I don't know if he ain't put his ID in there, pull his face. He should have put his ID down there, pull his face. You know, next time. So, this wasn't no casualties, man. So, he ain't know next time. But he probably did that a thousand times in the pandemic, and that never happened. So, old girl just was probably, you know, she probably, she probably was scared. So, that is what it is. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Check the current news and music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. I want to financially support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJGood313, Venmo, CJGood313, PayPal link in the description. Uh, hit the link tree link in the description. You can find me everywhere on social media from Twitter to you know, Instagram. I also produce on Spotify and Twitch. Um, hit me up there. I want to make a financial donation. 
just keep sharing. If you want to donate, just thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Appreciate the notification. We go live, drop the video. Appreciate the love and support. One time for one time. I know the business is peace.